Hey there internets, I'm Michael and today is Monday the 5th of September 2016 and it's time for another Diaries of a Newbie YouTuber. So let's start with my week in review. What has happened over the past week? Well firstly the big news, we've got Scythe here, of course it is two can win that game. So we're giving away two copies of Scythe, it started on the 1st which was Thursday so it's not quite been going a week. But uh, yeah, that's the big news from the last week that that competition is going on. And the first video I did this week was in fact the launch of that. So it was, yeah, I think it was Thursday was the first video of the week really, um, which is, seems counterproductive. But if you think Tuesdays when diaries come out, then Wednesday there wasn't one, then Thursday. So it's only actually a one day uh, missing gap there. But yeah, so that was the first video. Then I did a total of five videos, and the second one was the unboxing of this retail edition of Scythe that you can win in to can win that game. So if you're interested in just finding out what is in the retail edition, how it compares to the Kickstarter edition, or if you do want to see what you could potentially win if you're planning on entering the competition, then do take a look at that. Uh, what else did we have? We had a review of Rockopolis, which I haven't got here because, well, it doesn't have a box, so it kind of hinders it a bit. But uh, hopefully there should be a picture just up here that will give you a vague idea. The nature of the game is that you're trying to be the first to record a demo record. If you manage that, you win the game. To do this, you're going to need to build up your band, getting new members, new equipment, and practicing. And of course, getting yourself well known enough so that people actually are interested in buying your demo record. It's not going to be successful if uh, no one buys it. So that's the nature of the game. Uh, it's a worker placement game with a rock theme. If that interests you, take a look. Then my next video was once again back to Scythe and this was the how to play game. So I know I'm a bit late to the party on this. There are quite a lot of how to play Scythe videos out there, but frankly with the exception of probably the obvious exception, I think I've done a pretty damn good job uh, and I think it's probably one of the best how-to videos out there. If you've seen some and you're struggling, then do make sure to watch mine. I Hopefully ha that will do it for you. That will be the trick. You will learn the game from it. Uh, then what else was there? There was Z War 1 Damnation. And I started my playthrough, the first video of the playthrough went up today. Now, there is going to be three parts to this, so it's a total of, I think it's 115 minutes, something like that is the total length of the playthrough. So I've split it down into three sections to just kind of give you a taste. If you just want to watch a bit of playthrough, you can just watch the first one. If you watch the first one and you're eager to see what happens next, then you won't have too long a wait. I think um, I'll get the second one up probably Wednesday I'll be able to get that up and then Thursday I should be able to get the final part where you'll be able to see who actually wins whether it is the director or the heroes. And uh, what else we got? So that was it for videos, that was it. But what else has been happening in my week? Well you may have noticed on the table here this little black stick and this is a new little toy I've got. It is a remote. So it allows me to do things like this to show you the remote better. So, <laughs> yes, I was pressing the zoom button there. Um, so, yeah, it's got a little button that will allow me to record and pause, uh, stop the recording, start the recording. And then this button here allows it to capture just still images. And then it allows me to zoom in and out. Um, so, if I zoom back out, there we go. Uh, so yeah, the whole reason I've got this is I'm trying to improve the efficiency of the channel. You see, as it stands, I don't have a cameraman, I have no remote control function on this. So every time I've made an error or been making a new take... Hang on, have I made any errors yet this video? Wow, that, that's got to be a first. <laughs> you know, I, I, I tend not to cut out the errors, so you'd know if there were errors in the diaries. Whereas most of my videos, I make huge numbers of errors. You know, I, I do like probably 10 takes of everything you see. So a lot more work goes into it than you actually see. Um, and yeah, so that's why I've got this. Because otherwise, every time I make a mistake or, you know, I need to 
stop the recording for whatever reason, I have to get up, I have to walk around the table, I have to fumble my way past the light, uh, which is kind of wedged between the table and the door, and I'm kind of, uh, uh, trying not to knock everything over. It's a bit of a hassle, and it's more than just a hassle, it takes time to do that. And that's part of why I've got this, I'm trying to improve the time. Now, another little issue I've noticed over the last week or two is battery power. I've run out of battery a couple of times. I have looked, I could get a spare battery for not too much money, it'll be like £40. Pound. Um, but I don't want to do that yet because I only want to change one thing at a time and I'm thinking maybe if I stop and start recordings tighter uh, that that'll help with battery but I think part of the battery thing will be like if I stop this because I made an error and then start it without bothering to get up and go around and actually turn the camera off it's still going to be using power but I'm assuming it uses more power recording than it does just being on um, so that should hopefully help improve efficiency as I say but we shall see. Uh, hopefully it will make my life easier and allow me to do more videos for you guys. Uh, the other thing that I got was, let's use this new zoom function. Zoom. Two new mugs. So you may have noticed that I've got my nor two mugs on the table rather than my normal one. And they are new mugs that my wife got me for my birthday. And you can see they are logoed up. So this is Two Can Play That Game merchandise. Now, this has been available for quite a while. It's nothing new. I've had this stuff available ever since I got the Two Can Play That Game t-shirts uh, done, which was probably like nearly six months ago now. And so, yeah, all of the Two Can Play That Game merchandise, if you actually wanted to get any for yourself, um, I don't know, you're a fan of the channel. I, I, I don't know, I might have some fans by now. Um, you can, in all the links, uh, sorry, in all the, see, I told you about errors, now I'm making them. In all the descriptions of my videos, you will find a link to our Cafe Press shop. Now, we don't really make much money off of that, uh, but we do make a little bit of money. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here because you're, you're actually seeing past over there, I think, uh, on the wall. Um, but I'm going to leave that in because this is diaries otherwise I would have had to reshoot the whole thing if it was a different video because oh no I accidentally made it so that you could see beyond the backdrop slightly you know it's only slightly but I don't like that sort of errors in my videos anyway as I was saying if you are interested in merchandise there is link to the cafe press shop you can get one there um, we make like pence for everything you order so that helps support the channel <laughs> slightly uh, but more importantly, it helps you show support for the channel, you know, if you like the logo, if you like the channel and want to kind of show that you like the channel, then you can do so. Um, and I think someone recently did say they like my t-shirt uh, for the channel, so yeah, there, there you go, you can order it. That's another reason this remote would be useful. I don't know if that's picked up on the camera, but someone just really loudly revved their engine. So I would have had to stop recording to do a new take because of an external noise. There's not much I can do about that unless I'm making a lot more money and able to play for some sort of recording studio rather than using my kitchen diner. But uh, that's probably never going to happen. But I'm happy with this. You know, it, it does take more time, but there we go. Uh, so yes, as I was saying, on to Q&A. So I actually have had a question this week. Uh, the question was from Charlie, and it is... When is Deathbot Derby, this little game here, coming to Kickstarter? So if I zoom in on the box, you see I'm using this a lot now. I'm not going to be using it that much when uh, I'm doing other videos, I think. I'm just playing around with it because li it's literally just arrived today. So there you go, we've got Deathbot Derby, you can see robots fighting. So yes, this is a game coming to Kickstarter on the 3rd of October, I now know. And I've recently did a review for that and you'll be able to find a link to that in the description of this video. If you are interested, it's a two-player game, Robots Battling. They are looking, my big criticism of the game was that it didn't play enough players. They are working on kind of add-on expansion. I think it's potentially going to be a stretch goal of the campaign to have team battles so that you can do more players. So that will be interesting on that one. 
So, that then brings us to the figures. Now, it's not surprising what's happened with the figures, and I'll talk about that after the figures. I'll just give you the figures for now. So, let's get with that. So, two can win that game. Obviously, that's not featured for a while, because I only do it every quarter. But, uh, yeah, in the past week, well, it's not even actually a week, it's from Thursday, so that's, what, four days, five days? We're up to 591 people have entered that, so that's really great. Um, I'm loving the amount of attention this is getting the channel. And, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, to put this into perspective, the previous uh, giveaway, Two Can Win That Game, back in June, which was just after the UK Games Expo, ran for two weeks, and it was for Time Stories, I thought it'd do really well, and it pardon me, and it only got 590 entries, so in just a few days this competition has already outdone the previous one. And uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how it runs for the rest of the time. Uh, then we've got Facebook, we're up to 32 weeks of having the Facebook page, and we're up to 1,582 likes. So this is a big increase, no real surprise. Uh, Twitter, we are up to 35 weeks and 7,646 followers. So again, a big increase. Really nice to be seeing this. It's been a while since we've seen uh, increases, especially big increases. It's been quite static on the channel and that is a shame. Um, but, and I'm really pleased to see the competition is breaking that. So that leaves us with YouTube. 37 weeks the channel's been going. So uh, yeah, we're just over eight months. We're gonna be coming into, at the end of the competition, we'll be hitting nine months. So it's, uh, it's quite a long time, three quarters of a year. And hopefully, you know, people realize I'm sticking around, I'm gonna keep putting out content. Uh, and they'll follow the channel for that reason. So let's see, views. Wait for it. 57,626. Huge increase, over 3,000 views in the past week. Now, yes, a big part of that is the competition. I will talk about that more, but I'd like to think maybe my content's improved. You know, I'm trying to do the dynamic thing. Maybe that's had an effect. We don't know, though, do we? Uh, subs, 2,119, yes! So, in the past week, I have passed 2,000 subscribers. That is a huge achievement. You can look at so many channels out there and look at the number of subscribers they've got, how long they've been going, and how many subscribers they've got, how many views they're getting, how many views they have. And I'm up there with channels that have been going nearly three years and I've only been going nine months so I'm really pleased with that you know I am becoming a major channel and it's fantastic it really is um, yeah I just hope that there isn't too big a drop when the competition goes because that does happen it's happened every competition and it will happen again and I'm fully expecting it to happen I just hope it's not as big as uh, it could potentially be Okay, so that brings on the then discussion, what have people been viewing? What is causing this? Well, the Two Can Win That Game competition is obviously the big cause. That is why there is this huge leap from being around those 2000s that I've been at to well over 3000. The launch video announcing the competition, announcing how to enter the competition, and talking all about that, has over 800 views. So you take that off, we're pretty much back to the normal view levels per week for the channel, slightly higher. And that's because, you know, pe people come because they find out about the competition and then they view a few of the other videos to see what they think of the channel. You know, they might see, oh, what else have you got? And I think that's why the second most viewed video is potentially Adrenaline. Um, also because there's not that many videos out about it yet. Now, this was a really big hit, I think, at um, Gen Con. I wasn't there, but my understanding, a lot of people really like the look of this. Um, 
And yeah, I, I did a video talking about it where after I played it ages and ages ago at the UK Games Expo. So I think that's helping me have a bit of a drop on that. Um, it's actually going to be available at Essen. But unfortunately, I'm not going to Essen. But what I'm going to try and do is I want to get a copy of that as early as possible to keep being the one with the drop on it. To If I can get a copy from Essen, like from someone going to Essen, or, you know, I think there's some retailers who are planning on buying copies at Essen to then sell. I want to try and get one of those as quick as possible. And then as well as having a first impression to be the first one to do the how to play, you know, the play through the review. If I can do that, it should hopefully help because it's looking to be a very popular game. Um, so, yeah, uh, there was that. And then obviously the Scythe videos have been popular because you've been able to get entries into the competition for watching those. But also it's Scythe. It's a big hyped game. People are going to watch them. And then, yeah, uh, it's just been the usual things, really. So that is uh, everything that's been going on in my world for the past week. Do the whole subscribing, etc. And, you know, enter the competition. Don't enter the competition. I, sh Yeah, just share the channel. Help spread the news. Help get people watching the channel and uh, helping it to continue grow. And I love you all for watching and doing all of that, you know. Um, someone said something recently on, I think it was on Facebook, sharing is caring. And that really is true. Channels like this thrive and they, they live and die off of social media. That is how people find out about us. That is how people will watch us. So sharing really is caring. If you care about the channel, share it with other people and then they will share it. And that's how it will grow. Okay, uh, that's enough wittering from me. So, as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.